My name is Roger Greenberg, and uh, I've done MD-PhD training. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Cancer Biology, uh, which is I'm also um, a member of the Abramson Family Cancer Research Institute and the Basser uh, Research Center for BRCA. We've done a number of work that actually has already uh, uh, had some clinical impact uh, in, in terms of understanding genetic testing results, implicating uh, several of the BRCA1 and BRCA2 interacting proteins, um, the genes that encode them as cancer susceptibility genes, and uh, possible uh, implications for new therapeutic strategies. And that's what we hope to continue um, in the future, you know, the near future. There are a number of uh, major issues uh, that I think all compete for importance uh, as the major questions in the field, and I, I can name a few of them. Uh, really, we now understand uh, quite a bit about these proteins, but there's so much that we don't understand in the context of, uh, of a, how a cancer evolves and how it uh, responds to therapy, and I'll just name a few of these. Loss of either BRCA1 or BRCA2 in normal cells uh, makes them uh, proliferate very poorly and many of the cells actually die. It's, it's, it's actually counterintuitive to believe, uh, to, you know, it's counterintuitive uh, to think that these tumors would arise from loss of BRCA1 or 2, but they do. And the reason that they do is that there are many genetic changes uh, that occur in the cell that allow these cells to accumulate additional mutations and to proliferate in the absence of BRCA1 and 2. And I think that's a major question in the field. How does the cell handle this sort of catastrophic loss of DNA repair uh, function um, uh, in the context of BRCA1 and 2 deficiency? I think the um, Basser Research Center can be uh, of value in many ways uh, to the field, um, to the field of BRCA mutant cancers. And, and this is actually a question that I've thought quite a bit about. Uh, there are a number of, of real metrics of success, and one is uh, to really fundamentally improve our understanding uh, on a basic level of how BRCA mutant cancers evolve and how they respond to therapy. To attract investigators to a field, um, to this field specifically, that were not previously involved, and to attract committed investigators um, who work in underrepresented areas that we feel would be particularly important. For example, um, tumor microenvironment, cytokine responses, um, tumor immunotherapy. These are many of the areas uh, where we've sought out uh, other investigators on the Penn campus and elsewhere uh, uh, to work in the field, and, and we're already making progress on these fronts.